This is Si Wen Yi from the Yi Real Estate Network. Today's VA government foreclosure is about this particular unit, which is very rare. I have to say, uh, of all the years I've been doing this, is uh, this is uh, such a unique situation because this veteran administration foreclosure is a fourplex. Now I could see a single family home when when a military veteran, the owner, walk away from the property and default on the mortgage on the VA loan mortgage for you know for the typical reasons you know premature disability death or simply bad management or uh, whatever. But in this case, a fourplex, seemingly uh, a very high income cash flow property, there's no need to walk away, regardless of how, what, what's the mortgage payment monthly or the amount, given the situation as it is here. But, you know, uh, as potential buyer, we uh, do, do not have any legal ability to obtain the reason why this particular owner defaulted on this uh, fourplex. So we can only take it at face value for what we know and make our informed decision whether to purchase this, this fourplex. But with that said, this is such a unique opportunity and, and I'm not exaggerating, all right? I, I, I'm trying to maintain my composure. So <laughs> wait until you hear the rest of my presentation. This is a, a, just a monumental opportunity for any savvy investors out there. Uh, hopefully you know who you are uh, to, uh, to pull the trigger on this one. So this is probably located in Anchorage, Alaska. This fourplex is listed just three days ago, as you see on the Zillow for 285,000. Now don't, do not even ask me why the price is so low on a fourplex. And this fourplex is built in 1985. It's not like real, real old. It's not real old. It's very rare to find a fourplex anywhere in the country that are built uh, from 1985 until now. So, and this is a prime example. So, it's an eight bedroom, four bath, 3,776 square foot. So, that means each door, each unit is two bedroom, one bath, if uh, 3,770. Six divided by four sides, we we're talking almost a thousand dollar. I mean, a thousand square foot. So you know, there's a fair amount of space per door. Just so you know. <clears throat> All right. So uh, let's go over the map, the uh, the location. This uh, property is located right, oh, very very close to the uh, Joint Base Elmendorf Air Force Base and U.S. Army uh, Fort uh, Fort Richardson. So it's a huge military base here in Alaska. Uh, has a very strategic importance because Russia is uh, over the horizon uh, from Alaska to the west, to the Aleutian Islands. <laughs> but those of you who know anything about history and the Cold War and all that stuff. But anyway, so I would have to say but uh, by the way, you know, as always, I've done a lot of research. The the potential tenants obviously is mainly active active duty airmen or army uh, soldiers. So uh, so with that said, so this property I would consider in terms of paper bracket, I would consider this property is in a B location, B as in boy, B location. All right, so it's not ghetto, it's not dilapidated, nothing like that. So here's a black dot, uh, as, I, as I mentioned here. So let me decrease the size. As you can see, okay, let me see right here. So where is, uh, here it is. You see right here, Elmendorf Air Force Base, which is a very large, Air Force Base with military jets and cargo planes flying in and out of this air base uh, quite often uh, to do their missions. And of course, U.S. Army, uh, Fort Richardson, somewhere close by. So there are, you know, an excess of more than 10,000 full-time active duty airmen and soldiers located here. So 
so this is a very obviously it is a very stable market here in Alaska, and I know is uh, some of you thinking it's too cool. You, know, you must understand, who still live here, and the military are still here, and those soldiers they have the housing allowance allocated to pay your rent very very easily. As a matter of fact, Alaska is a, is a high cost area for the purpose of the the military calculating their housing allowance uh, based on some formula. Okay, I'm not going to get into that, but uh, each unit uh, rents for projected rent is around $1,200. So that's quite low. Uh, a, a sergeant E5 or E6 with eight years of service married with, with a spouse and maybe some small children or maybe no children can easily rent each of these doors per family. And uh, their housing allowance is way more than 1200. It's probably 1800. I haven't checked my, my records. Uh, some of you may or may not know when I was in active duty, uh, Army, U.S. Army, uh, I was a finance specialist. So I calculate the, I, I did in and out processing of finance uh, soldiers and I provide them with uh, base pay and uh, housing allowance, how much to pay them based on their years of service, their rank and all that stuff. So 1200 is a slam dunk easy for them to pay and take, in fact, the, uh, the, uh, the, un, the overage of uh, excess uh, housing allowance that they have above and beyond 1200 uh, is, is free money to them, <laughs> which is amazing. They also have some bachelor's allowance for um, housing, for for meals. <laughs> the government really take care of soldiers. They have a, uh, some some uh, meal allowance to live off post as well. Oh, mind boggling. Anyway, so you're gonna have some very good tenants for cons consistently over many, many more years, because this military base is going to be here forever as long as Russia is our supposedly our enemy for the for who knows for years and years to come. So the stability of the tenant base, the low vacancy and the mission essential, the discipline of soldiers giving their jobs and the mission of the military is such that uh, you're going to find very few. There are some, of course. Uh, military uh, soldiers, uh, they can misbehave, they may not pay the, they may default on the, on the rent. That could happen, but uh, on the percentage, ba percentage basis, they're not going to happen as often as regular tenant that you have with you on your regular investment property locating other, in other part of the U.S. Uh, who are, which is non-military based. Okay, so, uh, all right, so uh, did I make myself very clear that this fourplex for the foreseeable future, given the location and proximity to the military base and the city of Anchorage itself is uh, very large, the largest city in Alaska. So, so equals a very consistent rental market, uh, very consistent cash flow uh, once you uh, own uh, this property. So, um, all right, so let's continue. All right. And here are some description as provided by the VA listing agent, some a brief synopsis. Investor special fourplex with two bedroom and one bath, common area laundry, clean interior, almost all units with updated flooring and paint. Top floor units with uh, vaulted ceilings. Seller is the Secretary of Veteran Affairs. Yes, the government took back this property on the foreclosure again. It's mind boggling. I do not understand why did the owner of this fourplex decide to default when they could, they could, they have been collecting rent. It's a, this is a cash cloud commercial building. It's just, I mean, I don't know. Anyway, uh, it's a, uh, well, his loss, his or her loss as is the owner of this property is your gain as a potential investor. So this property is sold as is, right? So once if your submission of offer gets accepted, you still have to do the inspection report. It's contingent, right? Uh, getting this house is contingent upon you appro approving, uh, accepting the inspection report, which you will do a few weeks later after uh, you submit the offer and getting a step, but getting accepted. So anyway, it, there will be a, there will be a multiple offer. As a matter of fact, uh, this listing just came up a few days ago. Uh, the Department of uh, the Secretary of Veteran Affairs they are collecting submission of offers, 
uh, throughout this week. In a couple more days, they will gather up all the offers. Quit, I don't know how many, five, ten offers that you are competing against. And they will render a decision probably early next week on the first week of February and decide which offer they will accept. So once again, the demand for especially very rare for VF closure that are in this fourplex. So let's go over the interior of the property. We only had four pictures, but uh, uh, the, the rehab, the repairs will, be, will come out of your pocket. So there's a critical component uh, for seeing through this transaction, but uh, something you can do your uh, due diligence uh, moving forward. So uh, as you can tell the cold icy weather here is probably 20 degrees below zero, uh, but hey, the mission continues, whatever, for these military folks. So uh, we don't know whether this upstairs and downstairs. We have to believe that the uh, the major foundation electrical system are in good shape. But uh, I would have to say that you may need some painting, uh, maybe carpet replacement. But by the way it looks, I don't even see any carpet that need to be be replaced. We don't know, right? Until you do the inspection, the you know, electrical system, maybe part of the roof need to be uh, repaired, those kind of things. But the, by the way, this property has, uh, uh, was initially, it's, I would say after about 20, 20% below market value, it was uh, sold for around 40 something, maybe even $50,000 above the list price as we see here, 285. So, Potentially on paper, you can have walking equity of uh, a whopping 10 to 20% off, even after you uh, pay for the rehab cost in addition to your 5% down payment. Uh, let's talk about the down payment financing, the vending financing very shortly. So let's, before we do that, let's go with the pictures. So uh, yeah, need some uh, cosmetic fix up. The bathroom, yes. Need some uh, maintenance and cleaning. And it has its own washer and dryer and a coin operated washer and dryer, by the way. So the tenant will pay for that. I believe you only pay for the water monthly basis. All the four tenants will pay uh, for, the, for their own uh, electric uh, bill. All right. So, all right. Everything seems to be operational, functional, nothing out of the way. So, uh, yeah, the, uh, so I we have to say the uh, the occupancy rate will be uh, consistently very high, probably 95% occupancy, because each military member will typically stay two to three years per assignment. So you're gonna have the stability of the tenant. Of course, we have property management available as always. Okay, and let's go over again. Big 1985 multi-unit, very rare. Uh, where you can get a loan, a VA financing loan for 5% down on the fourplex. On the traditional lending on regular rental properties, anything over a duplex or over the Fannie Mae lending guideline is required at least 25% down payment, as you, as you all know. But this Vendi financing VA loan scenario is not part of the Fannie Mae lending guidelines, okay? Totally different kind of loan, which is this loan is much better, obviously, 5% down for, for any kind of investment property, whether it's a single family home rental or four plex or eight plex, whatever. Not that I've seen any eight plexes for VA foreclosures, but this is this is as good as it gets right now, right? So uh, requires some smart, savvy investors that qualify for my program to enter into my program and hopefully next few days um pull the trigger and submit an offer and all that stuff with my total guidance of course all right so uh let's uh let's scroll down let me see like i said like i said in fact if you look at the uh price and tax history way back at 10 months ago it this property was listed at four hundred thousand. i mean if you look, if you digest the number, I mean, you don't have to become a numerical rocket scientist to calculate all these. You buy it at way below market value, 285. Uh, it was listed April uh, 2019 at 400 grand, for God's sake. Okay, that alone, I mean, it's mind boggling. And the cash flow is just mind boggling, which I've never seen before. I will show you the cash flow analysis momentarily. 
Uh, the monthly tax is 316, you know, very low, $100, home ins um, property insurance, no HOAs, nearby school, you know, it's okay, two and four out of 10. It's pretty typical in this kind of community. So is a seller, oh, who knows about the market, seller's market, buyer's market. All right, it's, uh, all I can say is below market value. So this is a very, this, this cash flow is mind boggling and, and I'm gonna show you all the important numbers associated with this property it's going to blow you away okay if you if you cannot get excited for something like this uh you're not a human being okay all right i'm being overly dramatic but uh <laughs> where else in history where you can get a loan for only five percent down to buy a motel unit i mean it just does not happen except when financing VA foreclosures, which any investors can qualify if you have good credit, if you have down payment, you've had two years of rental property experience, you will qualify for 5% down when the loan, investment loan to buy any kind of VA foreclosure property as long as they are in the good areas in depth and, and other things which I'm showing you. All right. So with that said, uh, here are the uh, projection of numbers, right? Uh, this is just a disclaimer. All right, like I said, 285K, uh, at least the list price, you put 5% down, which is for 14,250, right? Down payment. <laughs> this is this is this is laughable. For you to put in a $14,000 $14, down payment to buy a $285,000 for a multi-unit commercial building, which is have a massive cash flow. This is this is is this even real? Is this, you might, or, 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 is this realistic? Is this, am I pulling your leg? <laughs> am I? No, <laughs> this data, this information has been verified. I have I have spoken to a various uh, people, the VA listing agent and my own uh, research. This number I'm showing you is, is it is a fairly accurate, but but you have to do your remaining due diligence and research to determine, to validate the numbers I'm showing you. All right, so the close, I mean, okay, here's your initial down payment, 5% down, plus uh, your closing costs estimated, these are, you know, $6,000 closing costs. Then I put down $15,000 rehab costs. Uh, as I mentioned, it, it'll come out of your pocket. So total is 36 grand, 36, uh, 250, all right? So uh, then the gross rent, $1,200 per door times four, which is $4,800. Wait until I show you the uh, numerical uh, metrics momentarily. So 4,800 monthly gross rent on four door being rented minus the 5% vacancy factor, uh, long, uh, short term and long term, equals operating income, then minus your monthly property taxes, insurance, 10% property management fee, uh, don't worry, we have several very competent property management locally that can help you manage your property re on a remote basis. Okay, so uh, money will grow on trees. 5% uh, maintenance uh, factor, as I always put in here. Then your great mortgage, 5% down on a, on a multi-unit building, which is shockingly, shockingly unreal. At, and look at the interest rate, 4.25 on a 30-year amortized rate. For investment loan, this is mind-boggling as well because a typical investment loan under Fannie Mae guideline to purchase a multi-unit is probably 5.5, 5.8%. And 25 to 30% down payment, da 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 All right, look at the metrics. Oh, this is not a typo, okay? I want you to digest this. Rent to value ratio is 1.7%. Right? How how do you get that? Is uh you know 4,800 divided into 285, 1.7. Then your capitalization rate, who 14% capitalization rate. You know how that how do you calculate that? Is based on yeah the uh, the purchase price uh, divided by your annual taxes, insurance, and property management fee, and all those costs. Okay, not does not include the mortgage. Got me? Annual taxes, insurance, property management fee, and maintenance, and legacy, which is whatever uh, here. 
divided by the purchase price, then equal a whopping 14% cap rate, which is uh, virtually unheard of. And cash on cash return is 67%. That means within less than two years, all your total cost of 36 grand will be recouped in about less than two years, 67% cash and cash return <laughs> this is when i calculated this uh, worksheet on my software i mean i asked i said to myself is this real yes it is real what does it mean this means is your uh your net cash flow okay your monthly mortgage on this loan is 1330 uh, plus you know your monthly debt obligation 316 100 and 456 and maintenance 240 and other costs, your water bill, you have to pay $100 per month. Uh, then uh, minus your uh, your gross rent, 4800 okay, and your mortgage equals your monthly net cash flow. <laughs> your monthly net cash flow is $2,016. So you divide, you divide 285K by four doors equals like uh, 70, let's say 70,000 per door. 30,000 per door and 2,000 divided by four doors. So you have $500 monthly net cash flow, okay, per door net after debt service and your mortgage payment deductions. All right, so $70,000 per door and each door rents for uh, 1200, right? Yeah, <laughs> so that's 40% cap rate, right? So 2016 multiplied by 12 months of uh, net cash flow equals at the end of 12 months, the first year, you have you can have a passive income of 24, almost $25,000 net annual cash flow, passive income of 24,193 and you only put in 36 grand. So 36 grand divided by 24,193 equals 67% cap rate, right? So you're 24,193 of net annual cash flow plus the uh, principal reduction benefit of 45,65 on the first year. And then I only put down 2%. <clears throat> Annual appreciation, which is very, very realistic, very conservative, equals gross equity income of 34,457. Divide that by your total initial cash investment of 36,000. So that means your total return on your investment is 95%. <laughs> you make your money on paper at the end of 12 months for the money that you put in. All right. But, it, but in, the reality is you have, you know, once you close escrow, uh, I mean, assuming, you know, you bought this undervalued property, you have like at least $40,000 equity. So you add on 40 grand. So your total RI is like, you know, what, 230%? 230% return on your investment total. If you factor in the 20% uh, the below market value that you're buying this. Oh, okay. I, I rest my case. All right. That's nothing more I need to say. So. How often uh, for via foreclosures anywhere in the country where you can find a duplex or fourplex with this kind of cash cloud cash uh, properties? Not very often, maybe once every three or four months, right? May or may not be Alaska, could be some other locations, but these are very rare. So for those of you investors, uh, there are you know there are a few of you that are already in my program. You pay my fee, you know you you got pre-qualified, you will get first-hand opportunity to buy this you know next in the next 24 to 48 hours and the rest of you who i do not know well i i hope you uh you're going to be uh you're going to try to enter my program talk to me consult with me uh then if you qualify you enter my program you pay my fee whatever then you're going to have opportunity to to uh to get this right so uh that's pretty much it i mean Many of you do not qualify because you, you might for my investment club members because you simply do not have two years of property man, uh, rental experience. Well, you need to start buying some better property. You have, need to start, you know, to buy 
our other market of turnkey properties, right? And once you close that scroll, that 24 months trigger will start, you know, start the ball rolling, right? You gotta start somewhere. So if you don't qualify for two year experience, buy my other properties and, you know, get invested in 24 months later, you will qualify for this 5% down program. Does that make sense? Right? So it's, uh, is is uh this kind of opportunity via foreclosures available to any one of you obviously you need to have money if you have enough money you have a good credit you need to have two years of property management experience and i don't know how much longer this via foreclosure program is going to be around but uh you need to act on something you know accelerate your plan to, uh, create a sense of urgency whatever right and, and show courage and all those attributes uh that are needed for to be a successful investor, whether buying VAs or not. Okay, that's all I have to say. So uh, I might have spoken way too long, but again, this uh, I, I could say this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. I don't know. I mean, some of you can, may not like my over the top, over exaggeration of my presentation, but sometimes I, I uh, that's me, right? I I get excited because. I know the value of these kind of uh, things. All right, thank you so much. Okay, I, uh, I'll let you go. And uh, if, you, if you reach out to me, if you're interested in uh, doing this program, thank you so much. This is Si Wen Yi from the Yi Real Estate Network. Good day.